This is a Pride Quantum Edge 2.0 high level. So this chair, the only thing this chair has on this model right here is the is the 12 inch seat lift. So if the only thing you're looking for is the 12 inch seat lift, but you would like to have the Quantum Edge base, which is very rare that you will find this chair like this with this base, because that's the, the good base with only the seat lift. But if that's all you need, you need to look at this one. This one has got what's called a 12 inch seat lift. So to make the seat go up on this chair, uh, you would do it through the joystick. And before we, okay, so you would go here until you see a picture of the seat. When you see the picture of the seat, then you can pull your joystick back and your seat lift will go down and will go up. So you're going to start at uh, 22, roughly, the top of the picture is at 22. You're going to add 12 inches and you'll be roughly at 34 inches, which is eye level. So this is all the way up now almost. The nice thing about these eye levels, when the seat is elevated, you can put it back in drive and still be able to drive the chair with the seat elevated. So this chair is practically new. It was only used for two or three months, as you can see. No scratch, no nothing. Um, practically brand new. It does have the 12 inch seat lift. So if we look under the chair, we can see the seat lift armature right here. You can actually see the actuator right here for the seat lift. The motor for the seat lift is right here. You can see how well constructed this is. You've got two anchor points on each side, two on the opposite side, two on this side. This is where you would tie your chair to your lift or to your van if you're going to secure your chair for transportation, right on these secure points right here. 14 inch wheels, solid tire, non-skid, caster wheels in the front, caster wheels in the back. You have a motor for each wheel. There's a motor on the opposite side, just like this one. Right now, if I was trying to push this chair, this chair probably weighs 300 pounds. There's no way I can push it because it's in gear. So I would bring the seat down and I would turn the power off. And then just by pushing this lever with one finger down, it unlocks the wheels. You got to do both sides. There's one on both sides. So it unlocks both motors. Then you can roll it. Okay? Back in gear. And you're not, you're not going anywhere. Okay? So I'm going to show you the suspension also on this chair. If you look at the back, you can see the suspension in the back right here for these two forks. Adjustable suspension, and you have the same suspension in the front. You have one here, and you have one over there. You have two suspension, okay? So this is a mid-wheel drive chair, so it turns on its own length. So if you were in the house, and you wanted to turn in a circle, you could turn all day long with a seat elevated like this in your home, in your kitchen. Okay? These are nice, quiet chairs, too. I'm going to bring the seat back down. Now, this chair, the joystick is on the right side. So if you're left-handed, we can switch this whole joystick right here. We can put it on the left side to help you out. Okay? So if you're left-handed, don't worry about it. Also, with this power chair, this chair is equipped with a light kit. There's lights on the fenders where you can't see them, but I'll turn them on here in a minute. I'm going to turn the chair around. There's a little button right below the joystick. If I click that on, you can see the lights came on. So if I turn around in a circle, you'll be able to see the lights against the wall there in the back. And you can see the front lights against the wall. So you've got the light kit on this chair. The seat on this chair, let me just turn the light off. The seat on this chair is a super cushiony cushion. Um, this sounds funny, super cushiony cushion. I don't want to say that 10 times in a row. So it, it's contoured on the outside. It's 21 inches wide by 21 deep. 21 by 21 deep. It's got a, a depression in the back where you sit for comfort. It does have a safety belt. This is a replaceable cushion. If you have a better cushion, or you want a different cushion, it comes right off. You can put your own cushion on here, okay? The back of this chair is um, adjustable back, so there's a lever, you can see it right there. If I pull that lever, I can pull that seat down to here.
here to here. Let me give you that dimension. This seat will not go any lower because of the seat lift. So your total height now is 35 inches. So 35 inches now, you could possibly drop the arm down a little bit so it's a little lower. So you could probably get away with 33. So if you were to lower the arm, you'd have to lower it right here with this little screw right here. And let me see if it's loose enough. Let me see if I can do it by hand. Yeah, there we go. So let me see if that'll help. So now, oh, I went the wrong direction. Ah, I was supposed to go the other way. So anyway, so if you turn it the other way, let me see if I can do it without a tool here. So let's see what that looks like. So now you see how I dropped the joystick down. You see how the arm is down? So you can do that for transportation. Now we're down to 33, okay? So you could even drop it down another inch if you wanted to. So this is how you adjust the, uh, you can go even lower. I'm gonna put it back so I can keep the arms level. So, all right, so we're close enough for now. There we go. So, so the height of the seat, by the way, remember on this chair, it's gonna be a little bit higher than most of them, is at 25 inches, okay? So just because of the cushion, this is a super thick cushion, okay? And this is a captain seat on this chair, which is rare. <coughs> Remember this, the height of your chair when you get in the lowest position is roughly 25 or 24 and a half, 25 inches, okay? Most power chairs, when you get in, are at 22 inches, okay? So if you're a short person and you get this chair, you've been worn, um, and I emphasize this, I cannot do anything about it. You can put a lower cushion, you might be able to drop it down an inch, but uh, you're at, as I said, 25 inches right here to the top of the seat, okay? And I cannot, that's the way this chair is built, and that's the way it's going to stay. We cannot change this seat. This is a custom seat for this chair. From outside arm, outside arm, you're looking at, you're looking at 27 and a half inches from outside of outside arm. So, if you're, if you're a large person and you need a, a decent chair with a seat lift, with a nice 21 by 21 seat, and you have doors that are more than 27 and a half inches, um, this is going to be a really nice chair. Because it does have the lights, the solid tires, the flip up arms, the captain's seat that drops down to 33 inches for transportation. The legs in front are manual, but they're manual, but there's a lever right here you can adjust them. You can also adjust the length manually with two screws, but you can put them wherever you want, okay? By pushing this lever in like this, if you want it there. But these are manual, so they're not electric leg. The only thing that's electric is the 12 inch seat lift on this chair and the base with the motors and all that kind of good stuff. When you charge this chair, <clears throat> you'll take your quantum charger and you'll plug it right here. And as soon as the light goes from orange to green, the charger will turn off. I'm, I don't want to say turn off, it will shut off. It will, the light will still be on, but it will not be charging anymore until it needs a charge, okay? So it's got, a, these are smart chargers these days. So again, this is the Quantum Edge 2.0 eye level with the 21 by 21 seat, large seat, captain seat, adjustable back, adjustable arms, solid tires, anchor point, safety belt, adjustable manual legs. It's got the full light kit. So this is a really nice chair if you need uh, a chair with a 12 inch seat lift and you want the quantum, but you don't want to spend thousands of dollars. This one's available.
paint the seat so you can see me driving it with the seat elevated. This is the one we, uh, this is the Quantum Edge 2.0 orange, beautiful color. Uh, it has the 12 inch seat lift and you can still drive this chair with the seat elevated as long as it's flat surface. And we're almost there, okay? So, so this power chair is practically new. This is what the 12 inch seat lift looks like if you're driving it. So if you're looking for a beautiful power chair in new condition, this would be a really nice one. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.